Finley is chief executive officer of the Allegheny Conference on Community Development and its affiliates, including the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce. And one of the goals of his organization is to stimulate economic growth in southwestern Pennsylvania's economy. And Dr. Audrey Gusky is a professor of marketing at Duquesne University School of Business Administration. Welcome to both of you to Stacey, the Sunday to Business Thank Page. You, we will start with you. What is being done to market the area in connection with the Super Bowl? Well, as you know, there have been a number of rallies already occurred uh, uh, just in the two weeks uh, leading up to the game. And uh, so that's the physical presence that we're seeing in a lot of energy around, uh, around the community here locally. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is uh, electronically uh, having uh, really pep rallies uh, uh, by exposing and talking about what are the differences, the things that have happened here in Pittsburgh since we were in the last Super Bowl 10 years ago. Uh, highlighting that to all of our media outlets and really getting the word out about uh, what a different place Pittsburgh is than people may think it is from its uh, historical legacy uh, uh, perspective. But, Mr. Lang, who, who picks up on that? You say you're dis distributing out to the media outlets. I mean, does CBS, does, does NBC, I mean, who, who's <laughs> yeah, picking up Yeah, they do, on and we, we, we see it picked up by AP, UPI. We see it in, in a lot of the major newspapers, and, okay. and I think our, our, uh, our strategy is a good one. But more importantly, I think, is the exposure we're actually going to have at the game. 140 million people will see this game. And if you look at the, uh, the cost of advertising, for instance, the Super Bowl, over $2 million for a 30-second um, advertisement on, at, during the Super Bowl period of about a five-hour period, um, if you that, think that, that, that does not include the production cost. That's correct. If you think about how many times the word Pittsburgh the, per, the words Pittsburgh region are going to be uttered during that three period time. We estimate that if you could put a price on it, it would be in the billions of dollars of advertising value that we get out of having our team in this game. Well, that could be true, uh, Dr. Gusky, but um, just because it's mentioned doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to be flocking to see Pittsburgh or to come and invest in Pittsburgh, does it? Yeah, but Stacy, when you think about it, we are one of the winning teams. We are one of the two cities in the whole country. So we are considered a winner now. And you know, Pittsburgh, this is such a huge shot in the arm for us because we've had so many disappointments lately. And this is just such an energy builder and the motivation and the Steeler mania that is sweeping Pittsburghers and the, the loyalty that we have to our town and the camaraderie, it's huge. And as Mike was saying, you can't put a price on some of these things. Well, can, can you go back though 10 years ago when they were last time they were in the Super Bowl? What was the after effect of that? Well, what I can tell you is that the research shows, and there were uh, the researchers at University of Maryland that uh, published a study in 2002 that looked at 1969 all the way to 1998 and their results showed that winners of Super Bowls, not losers, but winners of Super Bowls saw an actual per capita income rise after they won the game. Now, not, not just the players. No, no, no. <laughs> $150 per capita uh, after winning a Super Bowl. Now you say, well, gee, that's not very much money per person, but when you look at the region of two, two to two and a half million people, it's over $300 million of impact positive just because we won the why game. Would, why would my income go up $150? What they said was that it was, it was reflected in an increased worker productivity, meaning morale is higher, people are more excited about where they work, who they work for, it's, a, it's an actual, uh, um, almost an emotional response to, Stacey, when, to winning. When people are in a good mood, they're happier, they're spending money. And what retailers are finding, remember Christmas season wasn't the strongest season. Retailers had hoped for mm -hmm. better sales and that didn't happen. So what we're finding now for these past couple weeks is a lot of the retailers' sales are four times what they were in January than they were in the month of December. Is which, it all Steeler gear, gear though, or does it matter? You know what? It's, it's, it's anything dealing with mm -hmm. black and gold or anything that, that people are spending discretionary income they typically wouldn't have spent. So maybe they're going to Giant Eagle and buying more hoagies or buying flowers that are black <clears> and gold. They're spending lots of money, not just on Steeler materials. I'll ask you, should, should the conference, the Chamber of Commerce, the city itself has spent two billion plus dollars and purchased a spot on the Super Bowl? Would uh, that make a difference? I think, as Mike was saying, the fact that our name is going to be said so many times, we don't have to spend two and a half million dollars for that time because we are going to be highlighted and we're going to be showcased and they're going to be doing footage and the pregame stuff where a lot of the reporters are coming to the cities and, and talking to the, the people. I think if this nation really knew how crazy people were and what we were all doing, as some of them are highlighting on ESPN and a lot of the shows, that it, it's just pumping everybody up and I think it's, it's very newsworthy and it's going to be covered. Yeah. And, and we clearly want to 
uh, portray the messages that, that we want to have out there. We want to talk about the fact that we are now uh, really a hotbed of, of bio, uh, biotech and uh, uh, tissue engineering and, and high tech, robotics. We're the robotic center of the universe right now. And, and, and these are the kinds of messages that really will, will bring a new awareness and education to these 140 million people around the world. And how do we do it? Well, that's we, just what I was going to say. I mean, yeah. you, uh, well, mentioning we, the name doesn't bring that out. But, and I'm, I'm just being devil's advocate. Sure, all this sure. Today. Well, certainly, there's a lot of media that's already here in town right. that uh, we're, we're providing a lot of press kits and a lot of information to them. You know, the, the uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, a higher, an influx of people coming to Pittsburgh for the weekends and for weekend mm -hmm. packages now just because they want to be a part of this excitement. So we're seeing direct e economic impact already, but getting that message out, the, the message of the new Pittsburgh is what we need to continue to do, not, not only for the Super Bowl, but we've got over the next three years leading up to the 250th anniversary but of But you're region. also in competition with Seattle in all of this, aren't you? And, yeah. and when you talk high tech, they're also known. I mean, Microsoft is headquartered there. You know, but there's nothing wrong with being in competition with Seattle because we're in the forefront as well. So the two of us, healthy competition on the field as well as off the field. I yeah. find an interesting statistic. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers have been Googled more than anything in the past couple of days. Well, they right now are America's team. There's little doubt about that. So I think the energy is there across the country. Absolutely. We only have about 15 seconds or so left. I'll have to ask this question. If you lose the Super Bowl, will my income go down $150? There's no statistical evidence that that will occur. That's right. good news. But Stacey. they're not going to do that, Stacey, but, yeah, so we don't do have to worry. Absolutely not. Mike Langley, Dr. Gusky, thanks Thank so much you. for being with us this morning on the Sunday Business Page. When we